Hey there everyone, Philly Candleman here. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I just want to go over uh, a little bit of a Yankee Candle Halloween preview uh, for Yankee Candle's uh, 2017 Halloween offerings. Uh, I was lucky enough to score some of these candles um, at my local Hallmark uh, as well as one of the Yankee Candle outlet stores. Uh, as you know, Yankee Candle's Halloween will be released this year on August 26th and 27th. So the party uh, is a full weekend this year compared to just a, a typical one day as it has been in the past. Um, that's when they're going to release the Boney Bunch. Um, Sweet Seduction will be released. Uh, I have a little bit more on that um, in this video. Um, and a couple of these candles here I'm going to show you. I'm not 100% positive that they're going to be in a Yankee retail store. Um, but they are out and available right now. If you're near a Hallmark, uh, you can give them a call, stop on by, see if they have them. So the first one I want to look at is Moonbeams on Pumpkins. So this little guy right here I picked up at the outlet this weekend. Um, the scent is kind of like a vanilla cinnamon scent. Cinnamon, uh, scent. Uh, very pleasant. I haven't burned it yet, but I am going to burn it. Uh, after this video and as you can see this one is actually a UK label um, but I have seen the US label on a votive here um, and I know it will be available in a large jar come the Halloween uh, party if you've been to a Yankee Candle store lately uh, they would have given you a bounce back coupon and on that coupon as you see here it actually does have the full large jar there um, and I believe I have seen the two wick large tumbler. Uh, I'm not positive, but I know we're going to see it in a votive uh, and at least a large house warmer jar. Um, I actually tend to like the, the logo on the, or the label rather, on the US version over the UK version on this one. Uh, this looks a little bit more elegant uh, with the silver because in the picture, uh, it's kind of like a silvery blue in the picture, and the new Yankee labels have that silver outline, whereas on the UK, uh, they still have the gold. They still have the gold there. So, once again, this guy uh, will be burnt after this, and I'll uh, hopefully follow up with the, some impressions on this, whether it be with this or uh, the large door that I pick up this weekend. Uh, the next one we have here is going to be a Halloween Trio candle. Uh, this is a, a two wick medium tumbler there. Uh, the layers are spiced pumpkin, sweet seduction, and buttercream. So spiced pumpkin and buttercream are traditional Yankee scents uh, for the fall. Uh, buttercream is uh, usually around uh, year round. Now sweet seduction, that's a new one. So sweet seduction is actually going to be this orange right here, this orange layer right there. That's your spiced pumpkin, your sweet seduction, and your buttercream. Uh, the pictures for the large jar of sweet seduction uh, looks like it could be some kind of uh, alcoholic beverage or a dessert, uh, whatever, uh, with whipped cream on top. And the actual beverage itself is candy corn layered. And there's a little bits of uh, candy corn on the tray. Um, I haven't smelled it but uh, I have heard it's kind of on the sweeter side. Uh, it could be replacing uh, candy corn. Uh, we don't know yet. Um, I haven't seen anything with candy corn out there or not yet. Uh, but candy corn hasn't really been one of my favorites. I, I don't really like the sweet, um, sweet scents, sweet food scents uh, that Yankee offers. Uh, year round. Now this also does have a, a new black metal label and uh, as you can see it's a nice uh, two wick there unburned uh, with that little pumpkin uh, jack-o-lantern face on the bottom. Uh, I picked this up at Hallmark uh, so I'm not sure if it'll be available in a Yankee retail store during the Halloween party but we'll find out. Now the next one here, this one is kind of exciting, it's actually a really nice one here. Uh, it is a swirl candle uh, it's not named, it just says Swirl Candle on the side there. Uh, but once again, we have that jack-o'-lantern theme going there. And it has the returning Forbidden Apple 
uh, which is that which is the green right there, and then we have the sweet seduction. Uh, that's the orange. That's going to be the new scent for this year, and then the ribbon also has the jack o' lantern face on it, and it just has the name sweet seduction and forbidden apple going around. Uh, now, one thing I learned about this swirl candle is it's a medium jar, but it's only 13 ounces compared to the 14.5 uh, that we normally see on these medium jars. I honestly don't know why that is, so if anybody does know, um, if you could please comment, let me know. I've kind of been wondering. Um, I, I don't know. It looks the same jar size. Uh, everything in there looks. I don't think that the wax is any lighter, but... Uh, definitely when you open this and, and smell the lid, you get that really strong odor or strong smell of the forbidden apple uh, that, that just takes over. Now, I don't know what sweet seduction smells like yet, so I can't say if that's mixed in with that forbidden apple, uh, but what I'm getting is definitely a lot of forbidden apple from there. Uh, so once again, that's the medium jar from Hallmark. Picked that up uh, about two weeks ago. Now the next one here, uh, it's brand new fragrance this year, brand brand new. Um, it's going to be at a, a medium pillar here, and it's called Haunted Hollow. Uh, there's going to be a trio of these, so there's going to be Haunted Hollow, um, Forbidden Apple, and Witch's Brew. Uh, so this is a brand new one here, it is a 12 ounce uh, tumbler. I have burned this one. Uh, it is a nice gray wax. It's a little hard to see there, but it's a nice gray wax. And on the back, as it burns down, it's actually going to have um, a saying. Uh, and so far, what I picked up is tonight, All Hallows Eve. Um, it's actually etched on the back here. It's kind of hard to tell, but it is. It's etched in there. Uh, and this is a, this is a label. This is a, a sticker label. But once again, we do get that jack-o'-lantern uh, face again, and even the lid. I'm not sure if you can see that. On the lid there, we have the same same jack-o'-lantern. So we're, we definitely have a lot of jack-o'-lantern themes this year um, with Yankee Candle. Uh, now the set note on this, uh, I have read them. Uh, it's got a lot of woodsy scents in it, uh, but to me. Um, just imagine going through a haunted house uh, at your local farm or somewhere, and it just has that smell of a fog machine. Um, it just has that, that really fog machine smell. Um, I like it. So far in this medium tumbler here, this, me this medium pillar rather, um, it hasn't thrown well for me. And now I don't know if that's because it's I'm in a large room here, um, I haven't tried it in a smaller room yet, um, I, and I did have it in a hurricane and out of a hurricane. Uh, it does pull well, it does look very nice lit, um, because that, that black glass um, is a little bit opaque there, so you can see right through it when it's burning, it's really, really nice. Um, probably would have been a little bit better with the label if they... Uh, if it wasn't a sticker now, I don't know if it's a clear sticker or a black sticker. That's kind of hard to tell um, But if it's clear that'll be pretty cool Because uh, you'll still get that the, the flame going through it and it'll probably look pretty cool when it uh, goes down to the, the jack-o'-lantern face there So uh, that's all I have for you tonight guys uh, I am going to be at Yankee Candle this weekend um, bright and early for the Halloween party where I hope to pick up more of the Haunted Hollows, uh, probably go with some medium medium house warmer jars of uh, you know, Witch's Brew and Forbidden Apple. Um, and of course, I want to pick up uh, Sweet Seduction, see what it smells like, uh, and probably pick up a Moonbeam on Pumpkin. So uh, once again, guys, if you have any idea about the medium swirl candle, why it's only 13 ounces, I'd love to hear from you. So that'll do it for me. Thanks, and I'll be seeing you soon.